smart house application interface has the details of all electronics in the house. So the way I designed the interface, I used Visual Studio. And Visual Studio is uh, it's from Microsoft. So I used C Sharp. Then for the interface, I have used buttons. And I've also used uh, some speech recognition libraries so that my system could recognize voice. It can be installed on the laptop or an Android phone. The device uses infrared technology. So I've used the microcontroller in the way that I use the relay switch in order to switch on and off high voltage like 240 volts, the one that we use at home. The system you have seen, it has those outputs whereby you're going to connect the light in the bedroom, the light in the kitchen, the light in the sitting room. So all those are ports whereby you're going to connect all your lights, yes. And this is a working prototype that we have right now. Once connected, the switches in the house are interlinked to the digital one on the system. I'm able to switch on these switches in the way that I know only need 5 volts to trigger them to go on and off. And this is how my system works. It is a digital switch which will work in cooperate with other normal switches at home, just like the corridor, but corridor switch with the other switch, whereby you can turn on the light using the switch the other side, then my digital switch is the switch on the other side. Yeah. It has wires connected to the electronics. Because there are so many, I want to know how safe it is without exposing users to electrocution. You look for a central point where people don't normally go. This would be like a store. Uh, on the time when they are constructing the house, you can get a central point where the wires will come, just like the main switch, controlling all the switch, switches, the lights, all the power outputs going to one circuit breaker on the main switch. This is the same way how we are going to connect our digital switch, in our case the home automation system. The device can be controlled using Bluetooth or internet. You can have the Bluetooth one and also can have the GSM one. The GSM one will help you connect to the internet to switch off and on. You have anything in case you are very far from home. For the Bluetooth to work for those people who want to use their smart home at, at a radius of 60 meters at home. And this would work for you very well in case you need to automate anything at home. The main, the main issue that I was facing on the system is also to be able to have to use less energy on the things which are connected and you're not using them. Kalwango says his innovation will go a long way in saving power. Automatic switch off. We are going to add an algorithm in our software that will detect motion in the room. If to, to recognize that there is nobody in the room, to be able to switch off all the appliances that are connected in that room. This technology has a voice recognition system that is integrated and receives commands from the user. All lights off. The laptop doesn't use any internet. It will work because of the software and the speech synthesizer in it. Then the one on the mobile phone, it uses the Google API for voice to go and check from the internet, then to bring back the text that the one you have said, then to go straight to the system. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV Innovation Nation.